what's up youtube it's your girl joe and today i'll be doing my first official youtube video as you can see from the title i'll be doing a passion twist trial and error challenge it's my own challenge because i have never done any major passion twist box braids and stuff on my hair i never did the parts by myself so i'm so excited to see how this turns out and if it does turn out good i will be doing a hair tutorial on passion twist for a next video maybe not the next video but a video coming soon <laughs> so let's get right into it so as you can see i already got a head start on my hair yesterday i washed it i did a co-wash now for co-washes you can do either just conditioner or you can buy a co-wash from the store i just did conditioner because i didn't have time to be going to the store and i braided it up and i blow dried it slightly this morning i didn't put too much heat to my hair because i'm not someone who likes to put hair heat on their hair from past experiences so i just decided to do a mild blow dry and now i'm going to show you guys how i part my hair okay so the first part i'm going to be doing is a ear to ear part so i'm going to start off with my ear and i'm going to just slightly go through the hair until i get to the next ear my hair is thick so you want to always make sure for thick hair you want to make sure you get it blow dry nicely or put enough products in there where you do not have to worry about having a hard time getting through it with the comb so i'm going to take the clip i'm going to clip this part of my hair so it, it can not get in the way and I'm going to now use the mirror that's behind me to see if I did a good job. So guys, I am back and I had a very hard time parting. Um, my hair is very thick, so the way that I wanted to part my hair, it did not turn out pretty good doing it by myself. So I did section my hair off into four parts and I will continue to part them in the box shape as we go. So now we're going to move on to our next step that is actually getting them into its sections and putting the rubber bands in the hair. So before we begin, you may need a few things. A comb, of course, you would want a comb with a sharp tip. I do recommend a metal tail comb. I do not have one right now, but I do recommend that because it's way easier to part. I might have had an easier time if I just had a metal comb. Next, you need some type of oil. I will be using Jamaican castor oil because I find that this really does moisturize my hair. It thickens it and it makes it grow. So I do recommend Jamaican castor oil, Haitian castor oil. Um, there's so many different types of oils, wild growth, you choose, doesn't matter to me. Next, we need rubber bands. We will be rubber banding the entire head. So we need rubber bands in order to get the job done. Um, next, we will need some type of snot. <laughs> we need some type of snot, gel, or anything that can hold the hair from the root. You want that slick look. So you, right now, I have maximum hold styling snot. Um, I don't really use this, but I'm going to try to test out how it looks. If you do not have Gorilla Snot or anything of this nature, you can use edge control. I find edge control to be a very holding look. So I don't know if that made sense, but <laughs> I find it to give you more of the slick look that you're looking for. I did order edge control, but unfortunately it didn't come in time for me to do my hair. It will be coming later on today. So as the day goes by, I will probably change I'll probably be changing what I use. Next, we need gel. You want to have some sort of gel to apply to the hair as you are twisting because depending on your hair texture, some people have fine hair texture, some people have thick hair texture like mine, some are already curly or whatever the case is. However you do it, you want to have some gel so that it can blend nicely with the hair as you are twisting it. 
Next, you need a crochet needle. Now, I do not know how you guys do passion twists, but from what I've watched lately, I find this to be the tighter method. Before starting this video, I did try out both methods, both rubber band method, braiding method, but I find the crochet method to be easy and secure. Next, you will need a brush, edge brush, or you can have a toothbrush. I love using my toothbrush. Um, to get my edges done because I find it to be easier, but you can have an edge toothbrush um, Sometimes this thing can be a little too thick for me. So I like to have that finer brush and You definitely will need a moisturizer of some sort. I will be using Shea Moisture um, leave-in conditioner it has apple cider vinegar and castor oil I do recommend Shea Moisture for people with thick hair or any type of natural hair I do make recommend Shea Moisture and others so if you want any recommendation on hair products just comment down below and I can help you out with that lastly we're going to need the hair um, I ordered my hair off of Amazon and if you would like to know the vendor, I can leave that in the comments down below. The hair is a water wave texture. It is nice and soft. I did test it out. I love the kinky curl. So that will give it the bounce. This is 18 inches. I do not know if I'm going to keep it 18 inches or cut it, but this is the hair that I chose. And you guys can choose whatever hair you want to. Just make sure you read the reviews because I started off ordering one and the reviews were okay but even when you're reading the reviews you want to make sure that it has a lot of comments like you don't want to read something that has five comments and five stars because you probably didn't get the feedback you need to so I recommend you looking at the reviews and seeing what it is that the hair has the hair does if it's itchy if it's gonna irritate your hair because i know some some people's hair head is very sensitive where it doesn't work out too well for them so let's get to it oh one last thing spray bottle um if your hair does get too dry and you find that it's not blending with the hair properly i recommend before applying the gel you just wet your hair just a little bit so it can get to that water wave look with your hair because when i blow dry my hair it is straight it blow dry straight and then when i wet it you tend to see my curls sometimes when you apply the gel and it's not wet you don't see the curls so i do recommend a spray bottle mine has leave-in conditioner um tea tree oil and you know some water obviously just to get that hair hydrated so let's go so as you can see i completed the first one um it's okay um as i went through the process it got a little knotted and it started to irritate me but this is the first one not so bad i do recommend you applying enough products to your natural hair because as you can see mine is a little bushy there but I'm going to continue and we're going to see how it comes out. Well, everyone, I am back and I just did my first square blindly. I went in blind. I did. I could not see anything. I do not have a mirror behind me. Um, I just took sections with the comb, of course, and I kept making my boxes. But then you had a little tiny ones and then you had a little big one one thing i do recommend though is if you have thick hair like me definitely do small sections because your the thickness of your hair can affect the way the actual um twist comes out excuse me <clears throat> so i do recommend that you do a smaller section so that you can get so that it can blend properly i do have a mirror in front of me if you are wondering why i keep looking that way i have a mirror in front of me but i do not have a mirror behind me so i'm going to show you guys i'm just going to turn and show you guys how it did come out so far and 
I did my best and I'm going to continue to do my best and finish the rest of the head. So I'll be back when I am done. Bye. And as you can see, my trial of error became my trial of success. I am happy the way it turned out. It was difficult and annoying some parts, but because I did so well, I will be doing a passion twist hair tutorial in one of my next videos. I don't think it's going to be the next one coming, but eventually, once I perfect it, I'll be doing a passion twist hair tutorial on my hair again, trying to perfect the parts because if you look closely you got some that's a little bigger than others but it's okay because it's good and the thing i like about this hair is you can put it up down sideways it's like very light but i don't know how long my hair is gonna last in this because i do have thick and frizzy hair and it might not want to stay inside the twist so i'm gonna show you guys the back real quick so you can see how i did with the parts and then I will end this video. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and be on the lookout for the next video. Thanks, bye.